All right, hey guys, how you doing? It's V here, and we're back with another episode of Lifeless Planet. I'm really liking this game. We're getting into some really crazy, weird stuff. Stuff we haven't seen uh, at all, really, ever uh, in the game. I guess we're supposed to go this direction. Um, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of new twists coming up here that uh, we haven't expected before. And I have a feeling that within... A few episodes or so we're gonna be done with the series so I think we're getting near the climax here um, let's see I'm not sure how we're supposed to get up there uh, let me see I think we're just supposed to run around um, up over here like I thought originally I guess because we can't really get up anywhere else Ugh. Uh, hmm, let's see. How do we get over here? Can we get over there? Is this an option? Is anything an option? How do? Hmm. Oh, I see. We're supposed to do parkour. Aha. So let's go uh, head right back over there and then we should be able to do it. <laughs> Aw, oh, man. I always... For some reason in this game, I always just miss that point. Like, I'm, I'm usually like, oh, we're supposed to go this way. Oh, we're supposed to go that way. But in this game, I'm just, like, exploring, and I don't even notice this, like, most obvious thing in the world right here. Like, a big chain of rocks that... Oh, man. Oh, come on. The turning controls in this game are... Pretty much the only thing that are not good. Okay. We made it. Oh, boy. All right. So, let's jump up and over here. Um, I'm really excited because I'm just getting ready for um, our weekly live stream we're getting ready tonight. And I'm excited to show off my brand new headset to everybody. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I live stream... Um, every Friday night and who look at this it's pretty water I bet we're gonna die but let's try it yep knew it the crazy thing is though like real hot springs and stuff like this like they look oh ah man they seriously just like so pretty like it's the most beautiful waters in the world <laughs> It just smells really stinky, and everything else around it kind of does look like this. There's white and gray and kind of colorless, and then there's some reds and blues in the water from where the archibacteria are making babies and getting foods and stuff. So let's see, if we run up here... Oh, I forgot to start it. Hmm... Okay, so don't go in the hole. That's a good, good option. Good thing to note down. Let's see here. I think we're just supposed to do more parkour. Yay! Everyone likes parkour. This kind of reminds me of, like, the top of these rocks kind of reminds me of French toast, and now I'm craving French toast. Doesn't it? Or maybe, like, chicken? <laughs> totally looks like grilled chicken. <laughs> Oh, it's like snowing. I didn't notice that. If you can like see the little details of the snowing there, it's kind of cool. So I figured out this way. Um, I got a brand new graphics card, 980 Ti, from my friend. I bought it off a, for a really good discount. And uh, basically, 980 Ti's are made um, so you can play games in 4K. Oh, so now we're supposed to like plug the hole up so that one goes higher up. Interesting. Um, and I was thinking like, I have this crazy GPU horsepower, and I still have my old graphics card I can use in there to keep the rendering up. Um, to like, so all the uh, recording and rendering load is on my old graphics card, which was 960. Um, and I was thinking, 4K 
is exactly, um, yeah, it's much better if you jump into it. 4K is exactly, um, 1080p times 4. Um, so, when I play my, um, I don't have a 4K monitor, so when I play my games, I'm either getting really high frame rates, or I can play at much higher resolutions at, um, still pretty high frame rates. So, NVIDIA, which makes graphics, a company that makes graphics cards, um, has this solution for me, which I'll tell you right after this small cutscene thing. Oh, it's not a cutscene. But what happened? We're in like a dark land now. What the crap? Oh, it's like lava fields. Oh. Inferno. Wow, that's pretty sweet. Dang. Um, anyways, um, there's this thing called dynamic super resolution that um, NVIDIA has. It basically means that <clears throat> um, it renders your game <clears throat> in a higher resolution, so it could really be anything that you choose, uh, any resolution that's higher than 1080p. Um, <clears throat> I could realistically uh, get a... Because <clears throat> I'm mainly going to be playing some older games on it. Like, not really old games, but older. Oh. Are you oxygen or are you jetpack fuel? Heck yeah! Oh, let's get up here. Oh, that's kind of glitchy. I'm gonna die. Yep, I died. I'm on fire. Um, it rendered. Oh, I got an achievement. Burned. Catch on fire. Oops, I pressed the button on accident. Unsnap. <laughs> oh, please. There we go. Okay. Um. Oh, I see. Okay, so we do have the extra jetpack fuel, so now we can get across here. Yeah, so basically it renders your game at 4K, and then downscales it to 1080p. Oh, that's... I thought... Oh, whoops. Downscales it to 1080p, which basically, you'd think it wouldn't do anything, but it actually kind of sharpens everything up, just gives, like... It lets you, like, see individual, like, grass blades and things like that a, a lot clearer. And um, through that, I can basically upscale again to 4K in post, in editing. Um, and that way, I can deliver um, all my content to you in 4K too. So if you guys have like a 4K monitor or something, you can, you can watch all my videos in 4K. Which is pretty freaking awesome. I mean like, that, that is really cool. <clears throat> so... Oh, jump across the lava. So basically, I can deliver games in 4K. I mean, that's pretty cool, thinking about it. All of my videos, really. Uh, except for ones with, like, webcams and stuff, because um, it's thousands and thousands of dollars to get a webcam that can... or a camera in general. I thought that was something you could land on. Um, that can record at 1080... or, I mean, at 4K. <clears throat> so I'm kind of good with that. <clears throat> I'm good with just um, upscaling and post <clears throat> but I think that'll be pretty cool um, so as soon as I finish this game here um, not like specifically but as soon as life this planet um, concludes I'm gonna start up uh, Fallout 3 and then we're gonna have a month or two <clears throat> no that's not fair uh, we're gonna have a month month or two to play through Fallout 3. I'm gonna do it kind of in uh, decent episodes, you know, I'm gonna try and go for like half hour episodes with that one, uh, just to kinda, cause I really won't have too much time to get through it all. Um, and when we do that, we can, uh, I have never played Fallout 3 before, so I'm going in blind. So if you ever wanna experience it without me like skipping cutscenes and stuff, and oh crap, I'm screwed, I thought that was where I was supposed to go. Gosh. Um, then I can show you, because I think that'll be pretty nifty. Um, but yeah, 
<laughs> so my plan is, um, for now, we're gonna uh, finish Life of this Planet, hit up Fallout, Fallout 3, and by that time, <clears throat> when we're done with that, maybe I'll throw in a couple uh, smaller games in there. I just bought Rare Replay, so we'll maybe play a couple of those games. I feel like that's gonna kill me, so I don't know where to go. Um, I am medium rare. <laughs> this is definitely going to kill me if I go any further. But I feel like we're supposed to go towards that or something. Where do we go? Oh no! Oh crap. Ah. Alright, I'll meet back up with you guys when I figure out where the heck I'm supposed to go. So guys, I'm pretty stupid. That's where we're where we came from. We're supposed to go this way. <laughs> My bad. I don't know how I got turned around like that. Um, so let's head all over this direction. Whoop. And if you guys... Uh, I forgot to mention this um, before, but um, if you guys want, um, mention any game um, either on Xbox One, Xbox 360, uh, PC, N64, Super Nintendo, uh, or Wii, uh, are all the things that I have. Uh, and let me know if, you, if there's one of those games that you'd want to, uh, see played. Because I am definitely more than willing to play these games, you know? Uh, I'm planning on starting a new, um, sort of series, oh crap, called, um, Old Games Are Not Bad Games. And yeah, I'm I'm really excited. I'm gonna start playing some old old games. It's gonna be nice. So I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. You know, the game has been friggin' linear up to this point, but now it's just like, what do I do? Like, what even do I do? Hmm. So there's like boards going up there, but I can't seem to land on them. Do I go up here? I don't think I can go that high. Yeah, there's a burn. Um, let's see here. I have finally figured it out. Okay, so we're not supposed to go over there. Or back over by that other one. You're supposed to walk up this secret path. And then we head this way. It's like so misleading because it's. Uh, I don't. Linear! I don't know what to do. So now I guess we're supposed to block up this leakage here. Goodness for air conditioned spacesuit. But it's more than air conditioned for this. And then I guess we have to plug this one up too? Oh yeah, that's probable. That makes sense. So then this one, did that tilt this one up? I'm not sure, to be honest. Let's head to the bigger one real quick and we'll see uh, if we can get higher now because of it. Man, that was way more confusing than it ever needed to be. <laughs> and now, <laughs> All right, now can we make it up there? Oh, barely. Awesome. Man, this reminds me, the air in Utah has been absolutely horrible lately. From all the fires. Oh, she's dying. Помоги, подними. Наверх. Okay, I'm carrying a lady now.
That's extremely interesting. So how is she not on fire? So crazy Russian alien lady uh, wants us to parkour up a cliffside. Let's do it! Why not? I mean, I don't see any reason why that sounds awkward or insane or anything whatsoever. I mean, like, perfectly rational, you know? Like, there's nothing more rational than what I'm doing right now. Recording myself, yelling at the TV, pressing buttons that control things in an awkward situation. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this would be like so freaking trippy and creepy in real life, man. Okay, we seem to have made it. Haha. -ha. Oh, now she's just up and walking. The Russian woman appears to have greatly modified biology. While traversing a volcanic region, she began to suffocate. Oxygen from my suit appeared to be no help, and she only recovered upon intake of ex exhaled gases, excluding carbon or including carbon dioxide. It appears her body is somehow partly photosynthetic, able to intake CO2 and convert it to oxygen like plants do on Earth. While this could be explained um, her survival in an oxygen poor atmosphere, I don't understand the science behind this observation. Okay, she kind of walked away. Oh, there she is. I will follow you. I will do the things that I need to do. So I can follow you. I feel like so much bigger and fatter. Oh, I can kind of stop her. Eh. <laughs> What, you want to go somewhere? Oh, okay, okay. I'll let you go somewhere. Oh, it's that thingy. Or, oh, is this this? Is this the same thing? Oh, this is not the same thing. Okay. I was like, man, what happened to this place? So I'm assuming, yep, we'll probably have to restore power to that laser beam again. Where's she going? All right, let's quickly restore power. <laughs> Going to restore some power to the world. Restoring power to the world, 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 world. Oh. Oh, I don't have infinite jetpackness anymore. Whoa. What? Um. Seems like this is gonna be a oh, more difficult than I thought. Let's see what this says. There's nothing I can do to stop the chain reaction. Soon, this world will be lost. I cannot fathom my part in this catastrophe, or the blind arrogance which it, I carried out in the planet. Um, which I carried out the plan ex ex execution separated from the motherland I will never know the outcome of the great conflict between Moscow and the West but I um, earnestly hope they never stand on similar grounds and witness the destruction that I, uh, they have wrought as I must I watch as this vibrant world rots to dead rock I so desperately wanted to end triumph to our people I could have been a savior, but now I cannot face them. I'm glad that we can never return. Our people will never know what happened here. They will never know why their families never came home. They will never know it was my fault. I know it was your fault. How do you feel now? All right, guys. Well, um, I'm going to leave it right there for you. It's been really great hanging out with you guys today. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for liking and viewing and subscribing and following and all the things that are in the description. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys next time. This has been Lifeless Planet. With me. <laughs> see you guys. Thanks for watching.